Welcome to the Save Par Golf Podcast. I'm your host, Eric. Why did that sound so weird? I'm Dominic. <laughs> we are currently on episode 116, and we are happy to be joined by Tony with Fiori Golf. Fiori wants to inspire people to strive for their full form or put another way to bloom in their everyday life. Make sure to give them a follow on Instagram. Their handle is at Fiori Golf. That's F-I-O-R-I-G-O-L-F. Tony, thanks so much for joining us on the podcast. Nailed it, boys. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. It's kind of a tongue twister. I did switch up the intro a little bit, which I kind of mentioned to you, but I don't know if you're paying attention to me, but so I kind of cut it short. I switched it up a little bit. I know. I feel like there's more time for me to like kind of prepare. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what you changed, but I was like, oh, that's quick. (laughs) But in any case, uh, no, we're really excited about this episode. Uh, Looking forward to finding more about your company. Um, So let's just get right into it. When did you start Fury Golf and where did the idea come from? So before we get too in-depth, I was I was telling Derek this earlier. Um, yeah. Every once in a while when I find companies, I'm like, Derek's going to love this. He's not going to know about them. And I, when I found you, I was like, hell yeah, this would be sick. Then I saw that Derek already followed. I was like, uh, damn it. <laughs> Everywhere. Hey, I love it. Yeah. But <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, pretty much uh, Fiori was started about, I mean, our first launch date, first collection came out September 1st, 2021. But the idea of Fiori is it's been about three years. Um, it kind of I started Fiori or like the idea of Fiori during COVID. Um, I was kind of wondering, I was able to like have some time to think about what I wanted to do. And um it was either I was looking into real estate or I was really intrigued to start this clothing brand. Um, didn't know anything about clothing or anything about that. But uh, picked up a book. It basically was like how to start a clothing brand. Pretty, pretty simple. And um, kind of to, to figure out the basics of it. And uh, yeah, after that, I mean, um, got the name and uh, figured out, <laughs> figured out from there. I'm kind of all twisted right now, my whole story. Oh, but no, uh, I mean, realistically, though, the, I mean, at, how I started this was like back in college. Um, I, uh, man, we might have to start this whole thing over again. Oh, no, no, you're good, man. It's all good. Yeah, dude. I like really was kind of thrown off. Sorry. (laughs) That's totally fine. Dude, honestly, these, these episodes I've, you don't know how many times I've butchered the intros and all that. and be like, dude, we got to restart. And it, it it actually makes it that much better when we, when we have these episodes, cause it's, it's, natural organic and it's really just kind of raw so i feel like people listen to us and they go wow you know what you're doing every single time and then me being kind of the producer the editor and everything i'm like i don't know how to edit i don't cut anything out we just roll with it and a lot of times the best episodes are the most well received episodes are the ones that we mess up on yeah so you don't have to worry about that one bit man honestly the big reason is i don't know how to edit it and i don't want to restart everything yeah and and it's and it's really not bad no it's it's great i mean so again like coming back like fiori golf i mean so we talked about before before we actually recorded live um like can talk about the name itself it's it's it, it means flower or flowers in italian correct yeah 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 so i mean wait wait sorry so are we um are we able to like you ask me the question again and i start yeah over? absolutely yeah okay. no so so like originally where did fiori golf like where did it come from and and when did you start it so fiori golf started about two and a half years ago our uh first launch day was on september 1st uh the idea of fiori came from my mom's side is italian my grandpa was from Friends, Italy. So I thought it'd be really cool to to create the name in Italian. So I kind of wrote a list of things down of words that I would look for. And flowers was one of them. And I was like, Fiore Golf. And I was like, oh, that sounds pretty cool. Like Fiore. So, I, yeah. I, I like that. Yeah. So got got the name. And then, um, you know, our logo is is a golf ball inside of a flower on a golf tee. So implementing that flower uh, name and yeah, that's, that's kind of how we got the name and um, started. That was going to be my next question is like, what went into the process for like the logo? Did you have, a, did you just kind of brainstorm to start sketching stuff or did you kind of reach out to a couple of different people? Like, hey, this is kind of what I'm thinking. Like, what are your thoughts? 
Yeah, no, I, I reached out to somebody and it was, I, I basically gave them very like simple what it needed to be. And I just said like, Hey, can you put a golf ball inside a flower on a tee? And that's what I got. And I was like, at first, actually, I really didn't like the logo. And then I started after, after I seen it and kept looking at it, kept thinking about it, seeing what it could be. Then that's when I started getting like, Oh, I really, I really like this design and branding for Fiori. Sure. So you didn't really end up switching anything with the logo itself. You just kind of kept it. Cause I actually, I think that's one of the coolest things about the, I mean, logos, we talked about this in several other episodes, like, like the name is a huge part of it, but like the logo really represents everything. And I think, I think you did a, a heck yeah. of a job. So. Yeah, no, I actually, yeah, I didn't change anything and I'm, I'm really glad I didn't because I think uh, a lot of people think the same thing. They like the logo and we love it. So, yeah. Do you, do you have like any other people like on your team right now or is everything kind of you handle it solo? Uh, it's pretty, it's been pretty much me the last two and a half years. Um, that was one thing starting this business. Um, I was like, I really need to keep costs low. So I really grinded to figure out, you know, how to do manufacturing, how to cut in. So how to do design, um, Instagram, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, all these different things. And basically, thank God YouTube's uh, here. So <laughs> I was able to. Easier, yeah. 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 And same with photography. So um, obviously there was, you know, I had some people. It was funny, like around the time I was starting this, I was working with a guy that went to school for photography. So he taught me a lot about photography. One of my best friends growing up has a, um, a printing shop. So he taught me a lot about printing and kind of like the first things of what you should do. And then from there, I kind of just, you know, put my head, head down and just figured out everything from there. Well, for doing everything pretty much by yourself, man, it said, you, you know, just looking at the website, the Instagram page, you've done a heck of a job. I said, it, yeah, it shows. I, I appreciate it. But yeah. And um, I mean, as of now, I'm um, there's possibly somebody coming on board as well uh, to help further grow this business. And um, we're now going overseas. Um, Very cool. In, yeah. The UK, Korea, Japan. So uh, working with somebody over in Korea as well, that's uh, helping out with Fiori. That'd be cool. That is really cool. That's cool. Yeah. Who's your, like, who's your target? Uh, demographic? I mean, let's see, how should I word this? Like, do you sell strictly just like online? Do you also like have like your apparel and like local pro I'm glad you changed that from demographic. Yeah. yeah, yeah demographic yeah, yeah. like golfers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's not just for golfers, but. I mean, it's, it's mainly direct to consumer, but we're soon uh gonna get in or start doing wholesale i mean i have gone in the past a couple wholesale accounts but with no really like plan so we're starting to create a plan now that will go wholesale so like i was saying about you know uk korea japan like it won't be just like one place it's going to be a handful of places very cool yeah i think i, I mean I don't think we've ever really talked about it, but like YouTube is so powerful, right? Mm -hmm. Like before we got on, I bought a couple sets of these like lavalier microphones, ones that like clip on. Mm -hmm. No idea how to use them or what they do other than they're supposed to record everything. Yeah, but I'm like, come up with questions and he's trying to figure. Yeah, I like I'm watching a YouTube <laughs> tutorial. I'm like, how, I'm like, where does the audio go from here to here? Like, where's the magic happen, right? Uh -huh. Um, I have a photography background. A lot of what I learned from my photography, whether it's like portraits, cars I shoot, cityscapes, YouTube, this podcast, how to edit it, how to export it, right. YouTube. Uh, what else have I had to YouTube? This microphone review, YouTube. So how to swing a golf club? YouTube. I'm still <laughs> fucked up. Mine is still a disaster. Yeah. Um, I guess what I'm getting at is like kudos to you for taking the time, yeah, doing the research, because there's a lot of people that go. I give it a day. Don't know what I'm doing. There's a lot. There's, I give up. Yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, and to yeah. kind of piggyback off of Dom, like what what has been like the hardest part of doing starting this whole company? Um, Adobe Illustrator. Honestly, <laughs> dude, honestly I think I I like Illustrator more than photo. I use Illustrator more than Photoshop. Yeah. But 
I would say hardest part um, for me, like, I feel like I'm very, you know, creative and that's, that's my strong point. Uh, but I would say maybe the business side um, of, you know, figuring out all these different avenues and putting like accounting and all this stuff. That's something I definitely don't strive in. Uh, that's hence why there's somebody else coming on board. He's more business savvy. Sure. So um, I would say that uh, I definitely think Instagram's really tough, <laughs> figuring that whole thing out. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's just it it really depends um, how I look at it. It's like, you know, I the reason why I started this brand, really, it wasn't at the time back in college, like I saw what was going on in golf. I I grew up playing competitive golf. Um, I fell out of the sport um, my senior year of high school and didn't play golf, honestly, till, uh, I, until I finished college. I got back into the sport. Really? And that, yeah, that's when I started seeing like uh, a lifestyle, like, a, a complete change in golf. Because, I mean, when I grew up playing golf, it wasn't cool. I started seeing, you know, like companies doing lifestyle stuff, yep. vlogging of golf, PJ tours looks different. There's more celebrities, a part of golf. And, um, that I saw that and I thought that was really interesting and intriguing, but really it was my, it was my dad that I was like, Oh, you should do, you know, something you're passionate about. And it was either, you know, the two things I did the most was surfing and golfing at that time. And then that's, that's what I love to do. That's all I wanted to do. So, you know, kind of when he was telling me this, I would think just like in my mind, like a golf or like a golf coach, a surf coach, my mind was turned off to the fact of like not even thinking about a clothing brand because that was so far out of the picture. Sure. And that was like like a turning point for me, like, oh, well, you know, why can't I do this? Why not? Like, why not get into it? And once I started it, I figured out I do, I had a passion in it and in creating and designing. So back to the question was, is like, I think if you, whatever you're doing in your life, if you're passionate about it, that's the only thing that's going to make you continue to go. And you're going to figure out no matter what it's going to take through the ups and downs, you're going to figure it out. And that's kind of been my mindset and um, continuing if you enjoy it, you're really not working, right? So it's more of a like yeah. sort of passion. So you're not actually yeah. going to work every day. So yeah, exactly. no, well said. Man. I like that a lot. Um, and and so kind of going back to the apparel side. So you started this this company. Um, now you have some new arrivals on your website, including the outdoor collection, which you're which you're wearing. Um, can mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit about the different uh, uh, shirts, polos, hats, the accessories, etc.? It's so good. The, <laughs> the jackets. Phenomenal. Yeah, so man. obviously being here in the Midwest, yeah. there have been a handful of times I'm out playing golf. I don't know if you were there this year, but we were playing um the wilderness one year. No, you weren't here. Yeah. And it was yeah. super sunny. And then all of a sudden the clouds yeah. rolled in. And I'm like, I don't have a jacket. I'm out there with a quarter zip. I'm like, <laughs> ah, jacket. And then even like with this weather we're having, mm -hmm. it would be perfect. It's yeah. like the Minnesota, you design like the perfect jacket for Minnesota. Without even realizing you designed the perfect jacket for Minnesota. Yeah, you're onto something. Yeah. Hey, I like to hear <laughs> that. But yeah, I'm the outdoor collection uh is inspired. So I also work another job uh up in Montecito. Um a lot of the landscape from the drive from Ventura to Montecito, you're on the one to one right next to the water, you got the mountainside. So a lot of the colors come from that drive that i have yeah and i, didn't I was really gonna ask about the colors that. and I, yeah. yeah i looked on the website and all the colors i was literally saying, yeah like blues tans browns gives me like a clean natural like cool vibe i was i was gonna ask you about that so that makes sense i'm just a yeah. big fan of earth tones so i tend not to question yeah, things go, yeah. yeah yeah we use a lot of earth tones but i it's funny like creating this collection i didn't even think about that till after i was like driving to work and i'm like man like almost every color i'm seeing right now is in this collection so i was like that must be why i chose those colors yeah but 
Um, yeah, so the Veloce jackets, this one I'm wearing right now, um, uh, we've had in the past, but we, with these new ones, they're fully upgraded, like night and day, all YKK zippers, uh, 100% nylon, water resistant, wind resistant. So they're a pretty dialed in jacket. And that's, uh, you know, I'm really stoked to have, you know, dialed that in for these, these pieces. And then, um, you know, for the polos, we, we brought in the new, this new tech PK polo is what we call it. Um, it's got a really cool, nice, lightweight material, um, polyester zipper. spandex. Yeah, it looks really nice. So it's got like it's a nice texture to it with a nice little zip to it. Yeah, I like uh, the zipper. And that um that patch is we're we haven't really or I've used it before, but like I think what we're gonna do is create another label of that patch and we're going to call it some type of label. I don't know yet, but, um, it feels very, it, not to, not to keep interrupting you, but the polo is very like almost European. Yeah. Yeah. You know, with, like, with like the striped collar, the, the zipper. Yeah. It gives me a European vibe. A little tennis sure. inspired. I was going to uh, say, it kind of gives me a little bit of a tennis type of uh, feel to it. Yeah. I yeah, get my so, hair caught in the zipper yeah, all no, the time. Have to get like the yeah, you got a long beard, man. <laughs> yeah. But it's cold yeah, I don't know. Like it's, warm. And, and I love the, that. Thing, the thing about those polos too is like, what you know, in our whole of what I'm trying to create in the clothing space for Fiore is, for me, when I buy things, like I don't buy things for one reason. I want it to be multifunctional. So a lot of what we create, we want not just for you to wear on the golf course, but like for you to wear throughout your day, right? So the whole sure. lifestyle aspect of it. So in my mind, I feel like that polo, like I, I wear it out all the time doing whatever it is throughout the day, but it, it kind of plays, you know, it has a good balance of, of golf and lifestyle. Um, oh, I was just going to say, what, what has been your, uh, your best seller? Like the most popular product um in this collection yeah or that in your collection and then just like overall um man oh i'd say the the i mean for hats the course i have i don't know if you've seen that it's got like this it's kind of f1 inspired um it's got this cool embroidery leaves on the on the brim and that's just like a pretty unique hat and i feel like just very different so that that hat is done very well the veloce jackets um our polos do very well but i mean it's kind of a mix of a lot of things but the one thing i thought was probably the course the hats really like and oh, it wasn't sweet. look looking yeah. at them now yeah sorry to interrupt you yeah they got a couple different colorways and they, those are sweet it almost feels very um like naval inspired like with the yeah the, with the rim like that and just something my dad would wear on the big old boats it's sick and I yeah. know they're ships, but I like to call them boats because he gets mad. <laughs> yeah. And it's like we decided to do like a toenail cover, or I decided to do a toenail cover on it because so it's not so loud, but obviously you still see it kind of thing. But um yeah, no, that one the the cool thing about that hat too is it like wasn't just golfers who were interested in it. You know, there was all different avenues of people were like, oh, the hat's sick. I don't even golf, but I want it kind of thing. So I think that's a cool thing because that's another thing is, you know, with with our logo and name is like, we don't want to come off like too golfy because we want somebody, let's just say it's on the street, they see the the logo or design of what it is and they're like oh that's sick like what is that and you say you know it's fiore golf they're like oh that's a golf brand like that's interesting like me but that you know if they buy it and maybe they get into golf that's all the whole process so just trying to get more people in the game of golf for sure. sure i mean if you think about it like you only spend i mean most average golfers only spend a certain amount of time on the golf course right so it's like if you're able to get people to wear it as an everyday lifestyle type of product where you, you feel comfortable wearing on the course and off the course, but then you kind of have, you know, that's kind of the uh, space that I would tap into if I'm creating an apparel company myself, because you kind of want to sit, you're on the course for a few hours at a time for how many days, you know what I mean? So and all the people on the course are obviously already golfers. 
how right. cool it would be in like the next five to 10 years to see somebody in a t-shirt or like a long sleeve and be like, no, that guy's a golfer. You know, because if you only you only know somebody's a golfer on the street if they're wearing, you know, that golf polo or golf vest prep like preppy style. Sure. But um I think that that's kind of like where I'm trying to go with it is is to change that because another thing starting this company, you know, I like to um in in the surf industry, for instance, like you know when you when you see a surfer on the street or at least in california like you know that guy probably surfs but he's not having his surfboard in his hand or wetsuit whatever it is you could just tell so that's what i'm trying to do for the golf space and yeah do you do you have some i mean some of your uh collections or apparel have a little bit of like so you're talking about like the, some of the polos that have a little bit of a tennis. He's got a style surfboard to on the website. I was gonna, I was gonna say I saw the surfboard, but as far as like apparel terms go, do you have something that would be kind of like, kind of pull towards the the surfer crowd at all? Um. Well, maybe. I mean, we're we're working on that, but like we did a um not too long ago, we did a collaboration with Infinity Surfboards, um, which was really cool. We did we actually did a surfboard and like a full kind of like uh we did camo hybrid shorts so like you could surf in them or you could golf in them do whatever you want to do um so like that collection but um i think a little bit because you know a lot of the things we create are pretty minimal like that t-shirt you're wearing i could see a surfer wearing that is also interested in golf um but a lot of our design aspect is kind of you know inspired by um at least a little bit of you know the surf culture what what piece of clothing is your favorite like your personal favorite from what what i'm just in general yeah just like your overall like if you're just get going out somewhere just casual like what are you gonna what do you feel most comfortable just grabbing out of the closet dude um i'm always rocking a hat from from my from my brand this is my favorite one just the it's a club The Fiore Club six panel hat. It's got like a toenail. I need a hat right now. My hair is just. I need to get a haircut slash hat right now. It seems like Man. a whole new face. <laughs> I know. I need to get a beard trip. Actually, I have it scheduled for tomorrow. I'm like, ah, I wish I could have got it today, but that's okay. <laughs> Dude, but yeah, yeah like it's it's funny. Like the the end. Like everyone's like, wow, you guys complement each other really well. Talk about you and me. Yeah. And then there's like, not kept, <laughs> kept. No cut, it's cut every yeah. other week. I literally do. I've been slacking those past couple weeks. I'm normally like, I actually have my own barber that comes to my apartment and cuts my hair now. Oh, and dang. So it's, but I used to go there, but not yet. Long story short. Anyway, the lady who does my hair yells at me. Really? Whenever I go in. Yeah. She's Man, like, you've waited way too long. Uh, yeah. She's like, you should have been here like six months ago. I'm like, shut up. I, uh, me, I, like, I like the fade. I like normally, I have yeah. this, and that's my style, but I've been slacking. What would you do if I just showed up with like fade? Dude, I would. Dude. I would be, I would FaceTime so many people on Instagram. I'd be going Instagram live, dude, and just everyone would be like, "Who is that guy?" <laughs> yeah, who is that? One day but, it's gonna happen. But yeah, sorry, we get off. So. We get off topic. No, it's okay. Uh, but honestly, our our t shirts, that t shirt, I love wearing that one, the essential tee, and then the other one that's the con con or this concrete jungle, concrete jungle. Yeah. yeah, the reason for that name was um because the flowers are in the camo uh i went to school in at the university of hawaii in uh on oahu so That's they awesome, call right? a of, yeah a lot of the, the locals there call it a concrete jungle so okay was, which is funny because when you say concrete jungle we're talking about where you kind of grew up as far as baseball fan like i was thinking new york <laughs> Which is not really New York vibes, but it, that's what I was thinking, you know. And then for those for those listening, I'm wearing the essentials yeah. shirt. Just you know, when you hear him say the shirt you're wearing, he's referring to me. Yeah, Dom Dom just I got have... long hair. That's all. Long hair don't care. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like, I'm wearing the essentials. Seed says Fiori cool. on the front. The back's got the big logo on it. Um, bought it because I like it. Really, everything. I honestly, I went through. I replaced my order, and I'm like, shit. I could have bought that. I could have bought that. And then I'm like, Cart, carts adding up. Yeah, and I was like, we'll start with because I bought a shirt and then I bought the woods cover. Oh and yeah, the woods cover is super clean. 
Appreciate it, man. Yeah, no, it's in like the funny thing about this is the first collection I've done where I've actually liked every single piece from it. So I even really like the water bottle. Like, weirdly yeah. enough, I saw that and I was yeah. like, yeah, I would buy that. <laughs> yeah. I only have one one now oh, shot of shot Maple Grove. Yeah. Not not plug, but like you plug always it. have a different type of bottle. Well, I put my noon in here because if oh, I put it in my hydro yeah, flask, it's like, it stays yeah. forever. I just I drink a lot of water. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, no, I use it every day. But um yeah, man, it's uh really stoked on pretty much every piece from this collection. Um and it's it's doing pretty well and I'm I'm excited for it. And we're already uh we're we're in, or I'm in the process of the our spring summer right now, which is it's pretty sick. That was gonna so, be my next question is one, like how long does it typically take for you to kind of come up with the collection? And two, like do you yeah, do you have any other plans of releasing a couple other collections before you know before the end of the year? Yeah. Um so it's it's funny. I don't know. It's like one day I kind of just sit down and be like, all right, I'm gonna start planning out you know the next collection and what it's going to be and it's it's usually as it's literally like the first thing that comes to my head is just really? what it is yeah it's i don't once i put it down and and i i map out the full collection the only thing that really changes is the color story of implemented into all the product but it probably takes me or it took this outdoor collection about six months six months do you ever get like awesome. super, super antsy where you're like super excited about it you want to like release it like i feel like yeah. that's I mean, I look, my problem i look at it every day so it's like i'm looking at it every day i'm yeah. talking to the manufacturers every day about it it's a whole process man like i can imagine it's crazy so um but yeah no i mean it it could be done faster but i try to make sure you know this whole sample process like everything's got to fit well it's got to you know, feel great, um, look good. It's got to be right. So sure. it, I take, I'd rather take more time to get it done right than just shove something out there. That something, doesn't yeah. That's literally what I'm going to because I'm designing all the podcast merch. Yeah. And now that it's on a hold, I feel so antsy. Yeah, you just like one of the. Items. Yeah, I'm at the point where it's like I might just like DM the designer, be like, "Stop it! <laughs> Only do this." But I yeah. know we'd all get mad at me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, i know it's man like it's, it's an awesome yeah. part though for you to like you know come up with this mock of like what you want place the order and then actually like get to see it in hand of like what you kind of designed and then actually like put it on but like, okay yeah this 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 is this hits you know yeah yeah no it's it's definitely exciting and it's also like like the antsy part like you're saying like you you know it might look really good on digitally but then when you see it you're like man what is this dude yeah so it's not what i had in mind yeah 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 so hopefully it's it's more of how it looks digitally so do you, do you so you mentioned that you have uh you, you're in another line of work um do you plan on taking this like full time is this like is that kind of like like a future goal for fiori golf yeah yeah i mean this is uh i mean it pretty much is full time i i work on fiori monday through sunday all day it's it's literally all I think about. So, yeah. but I mean, yeah. So, you know, my other job helps me pay for obviously what I'm doing, but we're, I'm getting close to um, being able to work on it full time, which is really exciting. And, you know, we're going to be raising capital here pretty soon and scaling. Very cool. Um, do you go out to like any like pop-up events or like what, like what are some of the ways to help kind of generate more uh, traction for your company? Yeah. Um, I mean, I've been lucky enough, uh, last year hype golf had an event in, uh, LA or not, LA, um, Robinson, awesome. which is basically, why are you like looking at me? I know who they are. No, I know. I'm just like, it's, it's really cool that you were able to connect with them. Yeah. Yeah. So I was very fortunate about that. Like shout out Ray, um, for helping me out with that. And, uh, what else? I mean, yeah, I've done some, you know, cool collabs with like a company like Minimal Golf. They make really, yep. really sick golf bags. And, you know, doing, you know, these collaborations like the Minimal Golf, the Infinity Surfboards, just branching out the the horizon of, you know, your uh, 
your audience, you know, sure. getting more people to look at it, see, see the difference in golf and getting people a part of it. But uh, yeah, no, definitely going to events and stuff. Oh, Guap Meet for sure. That's another one. Um, Which one was it? Guap Meet. Troy Aguila, he, he started it. It's kind of like a spin on, you know, like a trade show. Um, sure. And a handful of brands were there for that. Uh, and that, you know, that stuff, that stuff definitely helps, um, you know, when you put your face to the brand and you get to talk to people and be like, oh, like I've seen your brand, like love it. And you get to connect with those people. I think that definitely helps out with uh, growing. Did you ever get a chance to go out to the PGA show? Yeah, actually. Yeah, I, 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 I went to it. Yeah. Okay. So that, that was really cool too. Was that this, this past year or pre, like when, when did you go to the PGA show? What was that? That was like a couple months ago. Yeah, I was to say, they just had. Yeah, so that you went to the most recent one here. I think it was yeah. in January or whatever. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Last month or whatever. Yeah, that's awesome. I've always heard good things, especially the reason why I asked too is because I know, like, said so you're trying to, you're definitely growing quite a bit. I know a lot of, I know it's very expensive as far as if you're like gonna have like a stand and all that, but a lot of a lot of entrepreneurs or brands will just like get a day or the past where they just kind of walk around and just meet people. So I was kind of curious on like what your thoughts were on that. It was, it was really cool, man. I mean, at first I didn't even know that it was just people involved in the PGA. I thought like anyone could go to this. I didn't realize yeah. that. So no, like that was super cool. Like obviously to connect with, you know, other brands or, you know, people just involved in the golf space. So I definitely recommend you guys go next year yeah. for sure. I've literally said that to like last like six years that I want to make my way out there and we still yeah. haven't, but we definitely, I, yeah, I think it you didn't still, ask. Well, I didn't go. Well, you, yeah, cause you didn't I'm not going to ask. ask you if I'm not going to go. Hey, oh, Dom, you want to, yeah, I'm going to get, you, gonna get your hopes up to then just spoil you and say no. <laughs> Won't be the it's, first time. Yeah. It's Won't super overwhelming. Time. There's, there's <laughs> like so many brands there in the, you know, equipment side, apparel side. So like for me, how I look at it, um, I don't, in my mind, I don't see that I need to jump right away to be at the PGA show. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, when I'm talking to also with the person that I'm bringing on board is, you know, talking about the PGA show, how it should look, how, you know, everything should be set up because it's not, it's not cheap at all. Yeah. As you say, I've heard it's very expensive, like, like the stands or not the stands, but like the setting up a booth. Yeah. It's like really, really expensive. Yeah. yeah so what we should do. Is we should find somebody we know who's going and then just like set up our podcast there and just not tell them that we're setting it up. Yeah, not a bad really idea. That way. Like, who are these two guys? Well, we'll we're checking the list like on Happy Gilmore. Well, like they would who know the us though. This? They just wouldn't know that we're doing a pod. I know. You know. <laughs> hey, Happy Gilmore, not on the not list. Bad idea, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, no, That's it was a, it was a good overall experience. Definitely, definitely recommend it. So, like. You're obviously entrepreneur, business owner. Like what's one piece of advice you'd give to somebody who's starting their own company? It doesn't have to be like golf related, but just, just like a general piece of advice you'd give someone. It, I mean, I pretty, I pretty much talked to or brought it up earlier is I think again, like no matter what you're doing, if I highly recommend whatever you're most passionate about, mm -hmm. figure out something to do in that space, because you know, if you're, if you're looking to make money, you're not going to make money. You got to be very passionate about it to continue to go through those up and downs. I think that's the only way you're going to be able to make it. So I well think said. I think find your passion, find what you like to do uh, just because and, and take that first step because um, looking back on it and everything I've done, um, I'm super grateful for being able to find, you know, something I am very passionate about. And I wouldn't be here talking to you guys if I didn't make that first step. Sure. So I think it's a scary thing, you know, because you never, you, you start getting in your head and you think like, oh, am I crazy about this? Like yeah. this, this, this doesn't seem right, whatever. You just got to jump in and then figure it out from there because the passion will let you continue. I love it. Great piece of advice. Um, I know you talked about, you know, you played competitive golf in high school and kind of gave it up for a while. Are you playing golf quite a bit this now, like since you started the company? Uh, golf less. 
<laughs> so oh, bless. that's how it yeah. works right yeah, yeah. man it, it's it's unfortunate but it's all right the, the end goal is to hopefully be playing a lot more but uh i probably pay play about one to two times every other month Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta pick that up a little bit. Yeah, no, I do. Um, <laughs> but I hear you. Yeah. But I mean, I still luckily because I played, you know, competitive golf back in the day, I have a pretty good muscle memory in my swing. So I, I could still play. It's like riding a bike, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, no, I definitely want to get fell out. off bikes. You fell off bikes? Yeah. So, so I'm screwed. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna just... yeah. Um, is there anything that maybe you want to add? And then if you don't, Dom, um, is there anything that you want to ask before we do a couple of rapid fire questions? We can kind of wrap it up. No, no, no. Is like, there anything that you want to add at all? Yeah. Like, yeah. No, I mean, I would say, I mean, basically thank you to everyone who's followed or either supported Fiore. I'm very fortunate for that. And, you know, um, thank you to my parents, my sweet girlfriend, for allowing me to do what I'm doing and supporting me. And uh, I'm just, I feel very lucky um, again to have find the passion in what I'm doing. And I I'm lucky that I feel like I don't have to go to work every day. So that's awesome. Thank you to everyone that's, that's supported Fiori. I don't have like a question per se. That's where I was like stuck. Yeah. You're one of like the few I don't want to say companies because obviously you're bigger than just a company. You're a human, yeah. um, but you're he's one of the. AI. He's not that'd be sick. AI. It's like <laughs> I robot. Um, he's not even me. You're one of those few people that we've had on, and I was like, okay, I already like the company. I already like the apparel. I like what you're making. The quality is really nice. Like, how is it going to be topped? I am now like a huge fan of what you're doing, what you're putting out into the golf sphere. Yeah. Um, so keep it up. We love it. Obviously, I like it enough. I bought it. Yeah, I got. I got to pull the trigger on. Something. And that's... I, I definitely got. I want to get one of those polos. Yeah, so you can zip up your chest. Yeah, hair. I got to get my. Yeah, I got or zip it down a little bit so I can show yeah, my chest. I don't down, think your wife dude. let you do that. She loves my chest hair. Yes. But do so you think she wants other women? Like, yeah, she, yeah. Like, does that zipper zip any higher? <laughs> I can make it. I'll make it. It's like a turtleneck. Actually, it's one of those hoodies yeah. that zips up all yeah. the way. Yeah. Um, no, and, and honestly, like, kind of like what. What's yeah, that? I really appreciate you saying that. That means a lot. And um... yeah, there's a lot of companies that have uh, a lot of funds, right? And for for you to kind of just brainstorm an idea and something that you're passionate about and being able to turn into a re reality, I mean, that's well, and impressive. that's the thing he keeps saying, passion. Yeah, I feel like is... we've had a lot of companies on where it's just like, yeah, I do this, this, and this, but there's like no heart and soul behind it per se. Yeah. You know, like. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of photography and I edit my pictures a certain way. People can tell like, oh man, Dom edited this. Dom took his time on that because I genuinely care. Yeah, exactly. There's yeah. a lot of golf companies in this sphere that I feel like don't care and they're charging people an astro astronomically high amount of money. And don't get me wrong, your stuff isn't cheap, but it's worth the money. And it's affordable. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah like it's priced yeah. very well. And it's, you know, I, uh, I, un I unbagged it. You unbagged it? Unbagged it. Um, and I was like, oh, it's actually really nice. So, you know, if anybody's on the fence about it, order it, start the shirt, just like what I did. I ordered a shirt and a head cover. Tell them Derek and Dom Dom sent you. You'll <laughs> not, you'll get no discount, <laughs> but maybe you'll get like a sticker. Yeah. Um, but I was like, yo, this is super nice. So I'm a big fan. Now Derek's a big fan. Yeah, it's just great. This is why we love having these podcasts. I mean, it takes a lot of time out of our schedule takes time out of the guests. It's schedule. exhausted. Yeah, and it's it's something that we're passionate about too. So passion yeah. is the word of the week. I love it. Key, key. Yeah. Um, really we're gonna keep. Oh. Yeah. So we're gonna keep the rapid fire questions really short and sweet. And we only have a few of them. Um, okay. So the first one I'll ask, and then Dom, you can you can I'll ask the next two. You ask the last two. Okay. Um, the Why you gotta one, make it so complicated? I don't know. Uh, first <laughs> one is favorite Instagram account. It could be golf related. Doesn't have to be golf related. Oh, dude, it's this one guy. Um, have you ever seen the guy that's like he does parodies? He acts like a very like outdoorsy guy. He's a comedian. Oh, and... you're not talking about PD, are you? Oh, uh, dude, What's I love PD. He, he's actually a singer too. Is it that guy? No, I don't think I so. Him. Oh, I mean, I'm interested. Uh, I'm curious. Well, oh, PD's on. awesome. Man, I just followed him. 
Let me just think of another one. <laughs> it's okay. These rapid fire questions are always never rapid fire. We just always like to use that term, but it always ends up being like this. So my favorite one is kids getting hurt. That's the <laughs> <Getting> hurt. <laughs> I never even heard of it, and then and then like we we had the same question with somebody else, and then um it was it was four bros or whatever, and they're like they're like hey what is that one they sent me the DM like what is that one Instagram account that you really enjoy about I'm like yeah that wasn't me you gotta ask Dom Dom yeah, it's I'm kids getting hurt it's like kids like I saw this one and this kid hits a jump on his bike which I used to do a lot as a kid yeah. and he fucking Superman's into some mud I was like hell yeah <laughs> all right I got it it's it's right. Matt. Lion, Matt Lyons. This guy's serious, okay, dude. He just, I, I was kind of hoping it would be PD. I know I was too, but okay. So it's Matt M A T T, and then what? S L I O N. He's basically like making fun of like outdoor, like outdoorsy people and what they do. I don't know. It's just really funny. He's just a funny dude. <laughs> I might have spelled it wrong. Shout out Matt, Matt Lyons. <laughs> okay, did you you said Matt and then S L I O N? S L Y O N. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, check out his check out his stuff. Okay, I think I found it. Oh yeah, he's got a little hat on. Yeah, I've yeah. Never heard of okay, that. yeah. I'll I'll give those those off. for PD. Yeah, I love have to PD. give those. A, I'll have to give that a watch. All right, we'll yeah. check that out. Um, favorite golf logo besides your your own. The Slossinger back in the day is pretty cool. I was just say, is it Sunday Red? <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm oh waiting yeah, for somebody, dude, that's true. Kind of the I'm <laughs> waiting for somebody to go. Your guys' logo. Talking about us. Yeah, I know. We're waiting Slossinger for that one. Just throws yeah. up in, yeah, Ours yeah, is yeah. so good. That. <laughs> shout out our graphic designer. Yeah, shout out. Um, he, Dom Dom can ask the last two. I hate the way you um you word it. You word it however you want. I know. I know, I just, I know, but you you really butcher it. Sorry. So it's the first C. What's your walk up song? Uh man, that's a tough one, dude. This I, new I was, song, Karis, Kerosene by his name's Yavez Tumor. That one, Kerosene? Kerosene. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to check this one out quick too because I feel like I've heard of it, but I don't know for sure. I, I mean, was listening to one today, actually, it was just I just put the song into my uh, my latest. Post, do I you think. have it up right now can you play it's it on his post yeah yeah yeah. i'll put oh, it's it on his post i didn't hear that sorry yeah 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 okay i'll take a look at your latest post yeah yeah <laughs> dom dom what's yours so four years ago the other day pop smoke died uh dude yeah. pop smoke so Love. in Love. honor of pop smoke we're gonna jam out to bad bitch from tokyo dude another yeah hold on with pop no smoke. just oh, just oh, enjoy oh, oh. just just enjoy it. I can't even hear it. <laughs> oh, That's all we need in honor of yeah, pop smoke. I'll I'll, I'll do a little bit. You're gonna deal. pick a bad one. This is a good one. This is last music video was alive for. Any, I can't even I hear the song. Are you playing? It's this okay. Song? It's okay. Shake the room. Uh, oh yeah, shake the room. No, but there's a, there's a song by Pop Smoke. It's called Mercy Bakoop. Yeah. And at, at the end of the song, it's like he starts talking. Um, Do you know what that's from? No. He did a, um, it was really? his last radio interview. Oh really? Yeah, and then um. If you go back and listen to the first song on that album, it's more time. Yeah. It's him talking to the same radio DJ. Wow. And then he had died the following week. Damn. So basically I'm some knowledge on So he too. went on this and it was right Pop before Smoke. it was right it was like right as Meet the Woo 2 dropped. And it was right before the first album dropped. He was doing yeah. press for it. And um he was doing a radio interview in New York. He's from New York. Yeah. Um, and the following week he died. That so, voice man is so good. Dude, he was like, I, he, he was the next guy, dude. Like bigger, I, I think he was to be as big as like Fifty Cent was. I yeah. yeah. And ever since he died, New York Drill has just 
yeah, plummeted. And I was like oh, really yeah. big into hip hop rap for the longest time. And I kind of like fell off for, for a while. And of course, like the like the next three like artists that I really liked just you passed just away. Stop liking artists. Like, yeah. He was like he honestly was... one of the only new artists that I really liked in rap. Like, yeah, know, it's all it's all kind of sounds the same now, but he was pretty unique for sure. What yeah, you got to do is you got to go listen to stuff overseas. So, like I've been really into like UK hip hop. Yeah, dude. I just like got Central C and you know? Dave and, you know, all of them just because it's so different. Who? His, his name's Yanko. I just no. heard it. But and I just found out about drill, drill, uh, whatever. You're an called. Italian drill. No. I got look crazy. at that, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. This is not only a golf podcast. This is golf and things, which is what I forgot, what I took out in the podcast. That's what it. Yeah. yeah so there's an artist called Rondo de Sosa. He's in Italy, and his he's literally like so aggressive that like he can't perform in Italy. Like, it is so aggressive. Yeah, because Italy is like not, nah, and it's yeah. a little white dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You like wait to show up. There's a little shadow you show up. This guy's like four feet tall. I'll definitely check about or the the Italian drill. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, just listen to Central C. There's one called um. Yeah, there's yeah. a song called Eurovision or something like that, and it's basically a bunch of different artists from all across Europe. So it starts with Italy. So it starts with Rondo oh. de Sosa. Then it goes to UK. There's Spain. There's France, That's and it's so wow. cool. It's all just one big song. How long is uh, it? You know, five minutes. Oh, it's not too good. No. Yeah. Okay. Our last question. We we we're big food snobs. We like food. So yeah. Dom Dom, go ahead and take it. However you want to ask it, you can ask the. We've asked this question. We could do. Well, let's do two. Okay. Go ahead. Because I want to keep going. Okay. So okay. forever in Ventura, right? That's oh. where you're from. Yeah. Where are we gonna go eat? A place called El Diablo. It has well, he was ready. Yeah. He was yeah, ready. He ready so dude. It, it, what is it famous for wings taco what do we you know being spanish it sounds like a mexican place yes yeah. yeah. so, so so like you. <laughs> you're gonna be hurt the next day really into <laughs> burritos obviously california sure. we have a lot of good burrito spots um but this place they just do the pastor burrito right it's actually mm. on the street from my house too but it's and they have this habanero salsa oh Man. yeah it's really so are you good. a salsa in the burrito or a salsa like you pour it on and then eat? Pour it on it. Pour it on it. That's, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're go. all on the same page. I got so flack for I that. Was... Boom Bay. Yeah, I know. Like, you got to put it in. Like, no, you got to. You got to pour it. Bite. So if you yeah, if you, you didn't know, Half Moon Bay has a killer breakfast burrito. Really? I, yeah. Really. It so <laughs> I got one because I'm not a morning person. It's well documented. Yeah. And I didn't know how the salsa was going to be. So I got it on the side. And everyone's like, what the fuck are you doing? Mine is me because I supported you. And I was like, well, I want to get it in every bite, but I also want to try the salsa first. Just in case. Yeah. Because like, what if it sucks? Then you ruin your whole burrito. And then I'm out 13 bucks. Yeah. Well, especially if it's the size of like a football. You know what I mean? It's like, dude, that's a big burrito. It was a pretty big <laughs> yeah, burrito. Dude, dude, I will tell you, breakfast burritos are not the call before a round. Last time I had one on the, on the turn. Couldn't even swing around my body for some reason. <laughs> oh, this one was really because it was, it wasn't like too big to the point where I was like, oh, yeah, it felt. But like cool. it was like hash browns, egg, sausage, bacon, and then the hot sauce or the salsa. Yeah, but it was like still like really light. See, my my problem is like I re- I deeply yeah, regret that I didn't try the burrito, but at the same time we did play really early where sometimes I like I don't really eat until like ten or between like ten and twelve. So like I should have just did it for the experience. Because Don Dom gets to talk about the good burrito, and I and well, I, so does Brendan, but Brendan's not here ever. No, Fuck know. you, Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah. So Makes we're definitely sense. gonna we're definitely gonna do that. We we got to come out there and, and try oh, this man. place. But Don we're Dom's got one last up, question. I... Oh, we're breaking up. Can you hear us? Okay. Oh, yeah, kind of. Can, kind of. Or hold on. You know, for once it's not my fault. Yeah, it's okay. At least we got you got to ask that question. Yeah, I can see. I think we're maybe I think he's froze. He's frozen. Uh-oh. Here we go. Tony, we can end it on this. So they said, yeah, hey. Oh, oh. Tony's gone. Oh, oh, oh. Tony's back. Oh, and he's redeeming himself. There he is. Can you see us? Can, can you hear, hear us? Me? Yes, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Hello. Hello. Damn. This would be a great ending of the podcast. Should we just end it? <laughs> I think so. Oh, hold on. Let's get one more on. shot. One more shot. One more shot. Third time's a charm. This is exactly what happened last week. 
this this has been a great episode though fun yeah game. i love the beginning part yeah we're, we at, we're keeping little, it in got a little nervous but it's okay because uh, i don't know if we got nervous we're I celebrities just, I, yeah that's starstruck all right tony and all the listeners and viewers whoever you oh hold on he, can you guys hear me we can hear you can you hear us yeah okay sorry i don't know He's why back. <laughs> i'm back sorry totally right. redeems himself <laughs> <laughs> um well we were gonna end it. we were talking we're like should, should we end it should we not end it but we we're back we're gonna ask one last question down on could do it it's another food related question that we'll we'll, we'll okay. uh, let her go so say you're dying tomorrow mm-hmm. please don't die tomorrow yeah. figuratively speaking yeah. give us what you're eating right. in the day you know breakfast lunch and dinner oh man it's kind right. of a depressing question but at least like we get to know like you're you know, your go-tos, you know, it could be a restaurant. Yeah, probably if, yeah, if it's last meal, I'll probably go French toast in the morning with peanut butter on it. Do peanut butter I, on French toast? I've never done it with French toast, but on pancakes, I love it. Yeah. My wife thinks I'm a weirdo. That's fucked up. No, it's so good. Are you a sociopath? It is so good. It's, it's <laughs> literally underrated. I promise you. And yeah. lunch, El Diablo Pastor Burrito. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And then uh, dinner, there's this other place called the Roscoe's in Ventura. They have a, you guys like micheladas? Micheladas. Oh, what now? Uh, yeah, explain that. Remember micheladas? So oh. it's it's a beer with like, it's basically like a Bloody Mary, but a beer. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm so, sorry. I thought you were talking food. So I was no, confused. No, no, no. Yeah, so yeah, that'd be great. Have you ever seen um, Parks and Rec? Kind of. Not there's really. a scene where he goes, why don't you go here? They have a meat meat tornado as their burrito and that's exactly what i thought of <laughs> yeah i've heard uh, of one of those but i was thrown off i'm sorry i was thinking food so, so yeah, keep going they make a they make a green michelada which is basically they put tomatillo salsa in the michelada oh it, so it's a mix with the tomato and beer it's amazing with tahini sure. rim big on mexican I'm food fine. and then probably three steak street tacos with rice and beans chips and salsa and it call it a day see ya <laughs> i love it it's a great answer man i love it tony man it's been it's been awesome to have you on hopefully you had a good time and uh appreciate yeah, uh, appreciate taking the time have uh have a good night keep on keeping up the good work and let's have you on the podcast again down the road here maybe excited for the spring summer drop yeah too. yeah maybe mm-hmm. when you release your next drop we can uh get you on yeah hundred percent. Yeah. Thank you guys for having me on and um stoked that we're able to connect. And yeah, I look forward to that. I look forward to you guys seeing the new collection. It's pretty sick. Sounds good, man. Thanks again. Appreciate your time. Of course. You guys have a good night. You too. Take care.